Right. I mean, me personally. Yeah, me personally, bro. I ain't made a nickel in two months. My little small businesses, and they had the nerve to turn me down for the loan. You know, so you down if you do, you down if you don't. Like you say, can we stand another? 30 days on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? Because all that money, they promises ain't coming in like they say. Like they send my damn stimulus check to a third party and shit. And they have to send that shit back. You know? So, huh? man, so. No, I'm not trash. <laughs> yeah. All over the country. All over the country. Okay. <laughs> they on some bullshit, bro. Oh, right. Yeah, that's some bullshit, Port. Man, let me see. So they talking about opening up the state of Georgia. I don't know what the fuck kind of bag they working out of. You know what I'm saying? Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. He on some bullshit. He said, starting Friday, certain businesses will be open. This ruling breaks from the majority of the state leaders and defies the warnings of many public health issues. You know what I'm saying? They're going to talk, they talking about opening up fitness centers, bowling alleys, body art studios, barbershops. Beauty shops, nail salons, and uh, massage therapy. Man, I mean, oh, and uh, it said theaters and restaurants will be allowed open on April 27. Bars still closed, and uh, stuff like that will remain closed. But see, I'm I'm asking everybody. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe bullshit. Because we not ready, man. I mean, you know, I understand, like you say, financially, we need to be ready. But, shit, man. I just lost I just lost two people this week from that shit. This shit real, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit real. This shit real, Port. And I know you know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, get it. Get it. Definitely. Criterion with 
each of the, the hospitals have here in the United States, it's opposite of what they used to doing. And he also said that everybody didn't need the ventilator because the ventilator is is causing pressure, whereas most of the people need oxygen. Right. And he's also he's seen where patients have snatched off the ventilator. You know what I'm saying? And grasp the air and then do better later on. So shit, you don't know it if they take you under. All I do is around here. I don't know about nowhere else. If you ain't Mexican, I pray nobody has to drop their people off at the hospital. That's right. The Right, exactly. This how I feel, OG Pork. Listen, we got the rest of our life to get our nails done and get our hair cut. You feel me? We got the rest of our life for this shit, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, get, man, give us a little bit more time, man. I mean, I can sit my ass down. Like, you can sit your ass down because, you know, we've we been that way. Because it's just easy, man. This is easy. This is easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just pray. Yeah, I just pray that the people of Georgia just stay safe and don't fall for that bullshit. The smoke and mirrors, you know what I'm saying? I just hope that I got a lot of people in the ATL, man. And I hope they just stay safe and they can sit back for a minute. Even if they open the state, fall back like it ain't open for a minute. Because this is going to be a lot of people infected, bro. Yeah. There you go. Yep. You said that um this pastor all right, right exactly this pastor has said the same thing he said rely on god but still take precautions you know what i mean he, just, he came out the preacher's mouth you know what i'm saying i mean like you say depend on the lord but just don't put yourself out there at least still you know protect yourself i'm glad you said that you know what i'm saying so, yeah. So let's 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 move on. We do have a water crisis port. Remember that? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> hey man, six years, man. It's been six years, bro. It's been six years, man. They just recently exposed the lies of Rich Snyder 
and other state officials. They say Snyder knew about Flint's toxic water and lied about it. The report based on a, a year and a half. They've been investigating his ass a year and a half. They said they got on. Uh, they said when he when he when he appointed that emergency manager and switched the water, this supply from Detroit to Flint to the Flint River. That was in uh, April of 2014, and then people start getting that Legionnaires pneumonia and cancer causing cause of contaminants. You know what I'm saying? Um, they got hundreds of confidential pages and documents attained by Vice TV, along with emails and interviews, reveal that uh, that he covered this shit up. Snyder herself covered this shit up. They got they got that Vice TV. They got all the emails and um documents. Proof. They got proof that Snyder and his and his and his henchmen, the, the state officials, you know what I'm saying? They hid that shit. They hid it, man, from going public. And they also said that um if they would have acted on it when they were supposed to act on it, they would have saved a bunch of lies. That sound familiar to me. That sound like Trump and his Quran and shit. You feel me? <laughs> it shit sound familiar, bro. And, um... Uh, that, that, uh, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're not going to stop because they got a plan for, for what, 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 what's on the floor, you know, and at the end of the day, like this, this, um, all this, you know, it's, it's, all of it is it's coming to a head, though, because it's been too much of that shit going on. Yeah, you know, everything in the light always come. I mean, everything in the dark always come to the light, you know? Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? They gonna bring up all with us. You know what I'm saying? Because you know goddamn well. Hey, you know, we from the same hood. If five or ten motherfuckers go to arms, and if you been cool with it, they gonna be trying to Rico us. Yup. Yeah, they hit us with the Rico. That's what I... Look how, look how, look how many people from Trump administration done went to prison. Exactly. He should have been here with the RICO law. You know what I'm saying? You absolutely right, bro. I ain't looking that way. That motherfucker should have been here with the RICO. All, all his, his people around him turned out to be criminals. So why the hell the leader ain't a criminal, you know? So... You see, he ain't want the he ain't want to fire the um, the doctor. What's his name? You know the the um the head doctor, the the disease. They want to fire him when dog finally told the truth about Trump was dragging his feet. He should have been on that shit in January. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. I had I had uh said something about that weeks ago. Cause dude, he was looking spooked every time it was time to speak. I said that motherfucker hiding something. He just he ain't I could tell the vibe. He was like basically, you know what I'm saying? He was he was holding back because of Trump. And he was look he was looking like it. I could look it in his face. Like, 
first person I seen or heard from, it was a young brother. He was on Facebook, I guess about a week ago. He had his oxygen on. And he come on, he was saying how we need to stick together as family. And um, it ain't like everybody think it's a lot more serious. He was saying some stuff, but I went on. And in the process, Okay, you know, y'all, y'all understand where I'm going. Y'all got to read in between the lines. Right. I ain't trying to hear that man. Fuck you and in that in between the lines. Just do it. Every day. As you speak in this bullshit, you talking about read in between the lines? What is it that we need to know? Put that shit on the floor. Between the lines. When motherfuckers dying every day on this shit. Right. It got to, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody coming out saying, okay, look, I felt this way before I had to go to the hospital or look for this or look for that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, if y'all feel this way, then y'all know it's coming on. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like ain't nobody got nothing to say about the deceit. Right. Or the, or the virus. Even when they coming out, they like, yeah. I'm a survivor, this and that. What right. Do you think some of these motherfuckers lying? Right. Like, for real, I got, I got, I got, I ain't even, I'm just saying, I know some motherfuckers out here lying. Let right. Let me tell you something like that. You ain't Man. got this shit or had this shit without quarantine. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. You know hey. what I'm saying? And, and, and you ain't even in the crib. Yeah. Well, hey. You out, you out the whole time. Right. Hey, I had dug a little deeper into this Snyder thing, right? And uh, former Mary Weaver said uh, that the governor, the governor's office, they was dangling money, a pot of money for different things. And they also pressured her. Uh, to publicity claim that the city's water was safe. They went on to say Snyder administration tried to get former mayor to cooperate, but uh, it proved unsuccessful. And uh, they had promised her some fines. And since she wouldn't do what they wanted to do, the fines suddenly became unavailable, right? Then... Remember that uh remember that forty eight million rainy day fine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She uh she had wanted to um to reopen the water pods with some of that forty eight million. So she went she went to get she went to get that forty eight million and it was gone. Snyder knew him and snatched that shit. He fucking just robbed us. He robbed Flint without a gun, bro. This shit deep. They sit deep, man. Yeah, he a piece of shit. He a big piece of shit, bro. And uh, they say, if, uh, listen, listen, I was going to say that. And they say, the statute of limitations is six years. And they say six years will be next week. So if they don't Get this motherfucker in the next five, six days, he gonna skate off into the sunset because the uh the statute of limitations. But Okay, what's what's the official date of, of the, uh, April um shit. April twenty fourteen. But I don't I don't got no no day, but it was in April fourteen. You know what I'm saying? When they um when they switched that water over from Detroit to the Flint River, it was in April of 2014. I don't know if it was on the seventh, the eighth, ninth, but it was in April. You know, uh, what we uh, what? Well, we about 22 days in April right now, so it had to be the end of April, cause they say. Just found out about it in May of 2020. It ain't shit we can do 
Nope. And basically. But you know what? They um, at least they're admitting now that the um, while the crisis started in the 14, because that's all I've been hollering from jump, because they was trying to say it started in January 2015, which is not right, not true. There you go. That's when the um, that's when the national media, that's when the national media put it out there in January. Of 2015, I never forget because my mom was having uh, open heart surgery, and I was in the uh, waiting room, and I seen where it broke. Everything, every news station where it broke it. So, but um, uh, they finally admitted it, it started in 14. <laughs> they know they fucked up when they um uh, when they they put the river into play. Yep. To, to, to yeah. Research says is um he got like seven more days before he arrived to the sunset. So, but like you say, we need to get with our state officials so they can do their job. You know what I'm saying? They um they go up to the um uh, capital and they'll fight because people want to stay in their houses, but they won't fight for the water. It's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? We had we had an epidemic before the epidemic, pandemic or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we dealt, we in double jeopardy now. You know? We in double jeopardy, bro. Okay, who you for? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you, bro. Hold on one second. Yo, yo, this is the artist of the day. It's Dominici. Because. Can you hear me, Port? Hold on one second.
Say something, bro. <sighs> D is dumb as fuck, man. This nigga keep calling my motherfucker phone, man. What the fuck you calling my phone for, man? Text me. Bunch of haters, man. Bitch. Man, I smell some shit. <laughs> 